Adam Harry here again, Gen Con 2016. We're here with the awesome Weird Games, showing off some new Malifaux stuff. Yeah. So this is Aaron. Hello. So Aaron, take it away, man. What do you got this year? Yeah, so we've got uh, a bunch of new crews, uh, which is really exciting. We did new masters for the first time yep. in, in quite a number of years. Yeah. Um, and we did one for each faction. And we have all of the box sets here, uh, which is really exciting. So we have uh, Sandeep for the, the Arcanist, which is really neat. Um, he is essentially like a crew buffer support guy. Yeah. There are different people who can use his actions. There's Titania, um, who is a fake queen, and she's the first like tanky Neverborn. Yeah. And she uses scheme markers uh, really well. There's Parker, who is essentially a train robber. Uh, yeah. We finally, finally got some more <laughs> old lesson there. I'm pretty right. excited about that. Yeah. Um, he actually uses enemy scheme markers to his advantage. So oh, he makes you, you know, he sticks you up so you drop scheme <laughs> markers and then uses them against you. Nice. Which is a lot of fun. Uh, we have an Oni's Wrath for 10 Thunders. That's Asami. She's yeah. actually a summoner. She's capable of summoning Oni out of the back of her head. Nice. She actually has like an Oni living, living okay. there. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's a good place for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just never give her a haircut. Right. Uh, the Mercy of Death uh, is Reva, it's a Resurrectionist crew. Um, she actually doesn't summon like many of the Resurrectionists. Okay. Um, instead, she's able to use corpses, so your foes who've died, to attack through them. So oh. she can attack from far away across the field by like going through corpses. Dead bodies are her, her ammo. Yeah, exactly. So that's really fun. Um, there's Nelly for the guild. We finally got a propaganda master for the guild. <laughs> So she comes with her reporters, and they just muckrake, essentially, yeah. and make people feel bad about themselves. Actually, that's one of the most unique uh, uh, factions I've seen, or not factions, but the Cruise, model yeah. crews I've seen in all of Malifaux, pretty much any industry is like, they're just running around with pens and paper, and they're just yeah. taking people out. It's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, so they use like an evidence condition, yeah. um, and so the more they know about you, the more power they have over you. So, yeah, propaganda power. Uh, the last one is Zip, who is a gremlin. Um, he actually... He's got the rocket pack, right? He does, he does. He flies around and he's got the iron skeeters, wow. which are uh, gremlins riding mechanical mosquitoes. Um, and they're called the Sky Pirates. They stole a big blimp um, and they fly around raiding people. Um, but awesome. Zip himself is uh, more getting in people's faces and annoying them. So he has a lot of abilities like dramatic monologue and things like that, <laughs> where he just sort of pontificates until Everybody's distracted and his crew wins. Just wins keep talking until you fall asleep and then yeah. they just take your money. Yeah, I have been practicing that for Gen Con. I'll see nice. what I can do. <laughs> and the last thing is actually a uh, nightmare crew. So these are always specials we have yeah. at Gen Con. We do one a year. And this is a McCabe crew who's Guild and Ten Thunders. And we did it in sort of a uh, steampunk motorcycle gang vibe. Right. So uh, there are these Giant two unicycles. single wheels. Yeah, and then he's on the motorcycle. Um, and we even gave the dog some wheels. Oh. <laughs> um, so uh, we're really excited about that one too because uh, it just you know it highlights sort of a part of our aesthetic, um, and it's just really neat to do these crews in other ways and envision them yeah. in a new new way. Yeah, I mean I love the I love the aesthetic of of, of Malifo. Yeah, creepy steampunk horror vibes, Wild West, yeah. all mixed together, and it's just awesome. It's great sculpts. Thank you. Fun game, go check it out. Yeah, definitely. Aaron, thanks again. Was there anything yeah. else, man, or just? Uh, so that's that's a big. Thing. We have through the breach. We have a new through the breach book. We'll go check that out here in a sec too. Yeah, and that's uh, Gremlins. Gremlins. So now you can play as Gremlins in through the breach and get that zany drunken antics going. Yes, if you're a big role player, through the breach is awesome for that. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Uh, why don't we cut real quick and go check that book out? Yep. All right, Aaron. So these are the two new books you have for Gen Con here. Yeah. Also Teddy. Yeah. Yeah. So Teddy was really exciting. This is essentially two scale Teddy. He's nine feet tall and scary. Very, very scary. <laughs> very cool. We're really happy with him. All right, so the books real quick. Yeah, so uh, this is Into the Bayou, lets you play Gremlins, um, and gives you all new pursuits and things like that. And this is the Bayou Games, which is a Penny Dreadful. Um, so it's an adventure to get you started and figure out how to do Gremlins well. Awesome, cool. So uh, we'll focus this real quick. We're kind of in the way right now, so let's, let's jump over. Yeah. All right, so uh, Into the Bayou gives you pursuits, an expansion book, um, and it, so it gives you a lot of different options for how to play the game. So you can play like a boozer, which is someone who does better the more drunk they get. Things like that. Very gremlin feel. And this is the Bayou Games, which is essentially like the Gremlin Olympics. Um, so you get a chance to go through these different events competing to try to get the most points because something that you're... <laughs> your boss wants is in the prize pile. So you need to do well enough yeah. to get the prize you want by competing in these different events and you know, and real quick too, gremlins die. Right, right. Real quick too, these are full color, uh, all the way through, soft back, great production value, so go check them out. Yeah, yeah. There's, they're awesome looking. There's a lot of stuff and This in is here. basically the adventure pack, this is the expansion pack. Yeah. So if you're playing through the breach, yeah. get these books. 
Definitely. Definitely. Cool. That'd be helpful. All right, Aaron, thanks for, thanks for the time. We yeah, absolutely. It. I'm Adam Aaron from Bulls. We'll go check out some more stuff. Have a good one.